Wallet is a school of traditions, institution of traditions, and it's only fitting uh, that tonight we embark on what we're going to call a new tradition. This year, Walnut Hills High School celebrated its 125th anniversary two years later due to the COVID-19 pandemic. To honor the occasion, the Alumni Foundation planned a weekend of events, including performances from both alumni and current students alike. Alumni Foundation Director Debbie Heldman decided there was no better way to kick off Saturday night's gala than with the new tradition of the Poet Laureate. Junior Nola Stowe was selected by the English Department as the Poet Laureate because of her decorated history on the Poetry Slam team. It just kind of came out of the blue and I was like, oh! Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I just like, I feel really proud of the work I've done with poetry over the years at Walnut and in Poetry Slam. I think I'm proud and honored to have the Poet Laureate position as a result of all of that. Stowe has been writing for almost her entire life and has spent the past five years on Walnut's Poetry Slam team. Her coach, English teacher Kyle Scudder, has knows her growth as both a writer and a performer. She would share with me how nervous she was at the beginning, but when she got on stage, she channeled it really well, to using the, the nervousness for the energy of the poem and the performance. By now, the past two years, I've seen more comfort. I can see that she's less nervous, she's up there, and it's her, it's her zone. You know, she's in her zone, which is really cool. Stowe is now an accomplished spoken word poet, having won last year's Louder Than a Bomb group poem competition with Class of 2022 alumni Zoe Cummings and placing second in the individual category. Slam competition themes push Stowe to focus on her work on social issues and the practice of performing has helped her draw from her own experiences to create more vulnerable work. As I've gotten older, I've written more poetry about like how I'm feeling and just more vulnerable poetry. And it's just, it's very much like a part of me. And I just kind of have to do it. I just have to like start talking. And that's the hardest part um, when it comes to performing and writing and just sharing my poetry in general. Although there are not yet plans for her next appearance as Poet Laureate, her work at the 125th Anniversary Gala will not soon be forgotten. Stowe drew on her personal experience as well as other poems she's written to create a piece that represents the past, present, and future of the Walnut community. Thank you.